Hello, this is Brother Krummer from the Math Department at BYU-Idaho, and these, this video is a supplement of the lesson dealing with inference for bivariate data. This is the SPSS commands that you need to deal with inf inference for bivariate data. So first of all, I'll be using the regression command in SPSS, follow it up by how to do a residual plot, and then I'll wrap it up with QQ plot of residuals. Okay. So first of all, here's the data set, the crocodile data set, where we're trying to predict body length based off of head length. So what I'll do first of all is I'll go to Analyze, Regression, and then Linear. So I put body length, since that's my response variable or my y variable, that goes in my, my dependent box. Then my explanatory variable, my x variable, that go, that's head length, that goes in my independent box. And then what I'll do is I'll do a few things. First, I'm going to click on Statistics, and I'm going to click on Confidence Interval, because we can get a confidence interval here. We can also, even though this is back in a, a, a couple of lessons ago, we can also get the correlation here as well, too. So I'll click on that, click on Continue. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll click on Save. And I'll save a couple of things. First of all, I'll click on predicted values, and I got, and that was from the previous lesson. But also, for this lesson, we need to get residuals, and so this is the main thing here. So I'm going to click on unstandardized residuals. So unstandardized predicted values and unstandardized residuals, but for this lesson, we need really unstandardized residuals. So I'll click on continue, and then I click on OK, and then you see our see my results here. I'm going to look at a couple of things here. First of all, my results and my output. So this is where we have, uh, first of all, here's our output. This is where, if you remember, this is my y-intercept and my slope here under co of coefficient box, and it's under B and for unstandardized coefficients. This is where you get your test statistic, and this is where you get your p-value. And this is where you get your confidence interval. Now, I clicked on correlation, so I can get this box here. Now, these numbers for what you're doing for this course will all be the same. So, so our, our correlation, or our r, is equal to 0.99. Okay. We can also get our degrees of freedom in our ANOVA table, which is tw which is 26 here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something else based off what we did f with regression, and that is getting these two columns. This is our my unstandardized predicted values, and this is my unstandardized residuals. We're not going to be using this to do two more items here. Okay. So the next thing I want to show you is how to do a residual plot, and this is using the scatter plot option in in, in SPSS. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Graphs, Legacy Dialog, and Scatterdot. I'll just click on Define. So normally when you do a scatter plot, you put in body length, for our, my, your response variable here, and then your explanatory variable here. Click on OK, and then you have a scatter plot. This is what you've seen before. But now what we're going to do is that instead of creating a scatter plot, we're going to create a residual plot. So I'm going to go back to Graph, Graphs, Legacy Dialogs, Scatterdot, click on define. Now I'm going to pull out my response variable and I'm going to pull in and this says unstandardized RE but it's for residuals. I will take this, put this up here and replace the response variable to get a resi this will give you your, a residual plot. So I'll click on OK and then here's my residual plot. Now what you see here is there is no pattern here so it looks like the requirement is met for well a couple of things plus also it doesn't look like there's a megaphone shape as well too so it, we can say that the requirement for a linear relationship is met as well as equal variances as well too. So lastly what I want to cover is how to do a QQ plot of residuals. Okay. Now we already have the residuals here so all we have to do is use this column here to get a residuals and we use the same thing to get QQ plots as we've done before but now instead of using say raw data over here we're going to we're going to input our residuals instead so I'm going to go to analyze descriptive statistics explore and then I'm going to put in my unstandardized residuals on the dependent list and that is it that's all you have to do and you're going to get a whole slew of information but what we're interested in is our is the residual plot and so I'm going to go look for it here oh I forgot to do something here um, Oops, I forgot to do Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Explore, and I forgot to click on Plots. That's the main thing here. Click on Plots, and then click on Normality Plots with Test. That'll get you your QQ plot. I was wondering why I wasn't getting a QQ plot, but I needed to do this first in order for that to work, and so I'll click on OK, and then you will see that here's your QQ plot. And you check again to see if the, if the points are at or close to the line. 
and it looks like here that except for maybe this one it, it looks like most of the line, most of the points are at or close to the line so we can assume the residuals are normal so therefore the the air term is also normal so it looks like with looking at this as well as if I go up here further as well as our residual plot here the residuals are on your y-axis as well as your scatter plot it looks like all three requirements are met where we have linear relationship we have equal variance here and then we have our error term is normally distributed which is what we see here and so that concludes uh, this video dealing with SPSS commands for inference for bivariate data